Oh, woo! Boys, we made it down to Florida. What, how beautiful it is out here. I just, I can't get over it. I absolutely love Florida. I, as soon as I start making some more money, I'm definitely gonna have to buy a spot down here in, in Florida. It's just so beautiful, especially this time of the year. The, the weather is perfect. Like literally I wake up in the morning, seven, eight o'clock, it's like 60, 65 degrees outside. And right now it's like middle of the day, hottest point in the day. And it's like 80 degrees with a slight breeze. We got the Raptor here with us. It's doing absolutely beautiful, dude. It's so good. It's such a, such a nice truck inside and out, plenty of power. I literally can't complain about this thing. I, I just love it so much. This is actually coming towards the end of my trip here. The whole reason why I came down here is actually to take a class with Brat Blogs. He's actually has a, it's called MPZ Trading. It's another business of his where he actually is now selling courses and teaching people how to trade in the foreign exchange market. Me and the other seven students in the class completed the course yesterday. It was the very last day, today is Saturday, and the reason I took the whole week off filming is because I needed to focus. I needed to focus and hone in and retain as much knowledge and information as possible about Forex trading because it's something I wanna take serious. It's something I wanna take on as another source of income because me, I guys, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm always trying to look for more sources of income and how I can elevate my career, not only financially, Financially, but just in general with retaining more knowledge and learning new things like I absolutely love that stuff dude I, I love learning so we're out here at Brap's house right now it's freaking it's a sick compound dude yo yo what do you call your fans bro the Lee squad the Lee squad the no Lee squad. I don't have no I ain't got no name or anything like what's that good, guys what's up man welcome to the, the, the Brap compound yeah bro what'd you tell them so far I, I was I was just filling them in dude that I set down the camera this whole week so yeah. we could focus on the MPZ trading course that we yo, just yo. finished up what you, how do you think it went? I think it went phenomenal. Um, obviously, over time, you're gonna get better. You know, it is what it is. So, guys, if you don't know, um, my name is Angel, aka Brat Vlogs. Um, right now, we live. That's my wife right there. We live in the uh, we live in the country, guys, in Orlando. And um, I have multiple different businesses. I do YouTube, which is one of my main businesses. I do Forex. I run my own clothing line, and then we invest in, invest in real estate as well. That's how we're so. You know, that's how we're able to afford. You know, all this good stuff, the cars, the dirt bikes, everything we do, man. You know, it's just it was a blessing. And then Lee hit me up, say, Yo, bro, I want to learn one of you know one of the things you do. I want to learn how to invest. And I said, I got you, bro. Come down, we'll have some fun. Not just learn how to invest, but enjoy the lifestyle. You know, the Florida life is the best life. And then uh, that's what we're doing here today, bro. So what, what video are we shooting today? I want to get a full tour of the compound. I see, like, look, I came here the first night and we just literally hopped on the bikes i didn't see the house i didn't see anything i didn't even really take that that good of a look at the cars but uh we we just ripped down the streets but literally within 30 minutes it was pitch back dark and the audio didn't even pick up so i don't even really count that today's the day where we're gonna today's film day, some sick content yep today's and uh we're gonna have some fun we're gonna we're gonna do whatever you want to do bro like i said it, I'm, i'll try to be the best host we do whatever <laughs> you want and um we'll see the crib and then uh we'll ride the bikes do whatever and in miami tomorrow we hit miami up Oh, that's going to be crazy. Sick. So have the whole South Florida vibes, guys. This weekend is a full South Florida vlog. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's just let's go crazy, bro. I'm excited to see like the shop and your plans for the shop. Yeah. So I say let's just save that for last. Okay. Let's check out the house. All right, let's 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 start here, honestly. So since we had, we, let's just come out right out here. Let's, uh, well, first, guys, we're sitting on 5.5 acres, which is very, very, very dope. Um, the, 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 the area that we're in, um, I don't want to tell you guys the area, but we only have like 16 houses on the block. So it's very, very, very low key. Like nobody's here just driving by flying back and forth that's why i love this location it's just like yo if you know you know if you don't you don't right so we have my hellcat right here guys we have my hellcat charger and we have my nissan gtr so um this is my baby right here guys like this is right here she has full bolts on she's she's pushing 700 to the crank 640 to the wheel or like 770 to the crank um this is my baby man this, i just got her i actually paid i bought her with full trading money which is super dope and lease all that as well beautiful cars they push a lot of power and i mean for the price point it's a, it's a pretty no, yeah, good yeah. deal yeah. 125 you, you got a killer baller ass car and honestly this is like every freaking man's dream car like, the one we got over here yep the hellcat then we, then we have a hellcat charger so this is more of the daily right here guys this is um one of the first cars i bought um kind of like the more like the more of like the little supercar range this is like one of the first ones i love this car this is like more of the daily my wife drives this more than me um and then we have my wife's car all the way over there next to lee's truck so Dude, those are the cars we have right now absolutely beautiful bro yeah thank okay you, bro. if you had to let one go oh yeah that's hard you know why so i like the gtr because it looks dope it's fucking fast um, it breaks necks everywhere we go, but then I love the Hellcat because I can fit five people in here. It's 700 true, horsepower. True. And I, can go, I can go anywhere. So if I had to let one go, it would be the GTR. Really? And that's and that's just that's me being like, hey, 
what's a better overall daily card for me? And Understand. I'm going to say this one because why? Because let's say that tomorrow when we go to Miami. Yeah. Me, you, Jordan, Randy. We, we all can't jump, take the GTR. We all jump in the Hellcat. Yeah. We get there fast. We get there in style. And That's it's right. comfortable. That's right. See, this, you can't even fit in the back seat. Yep. No back seat. My daughter fits perfect in the back seat. <laughs> and she's the only person. Literally, that's it, bro. Yeah. So I would say if I had to get rid of one car, it would be the Hellcat. But... Thank God I don't have to get rid of one car. That's right. I can keep one. That's over. right. You know what I'm Thank God. 100%. Let's just come right in here. Hi. We have, say hi. High, high fives. Oh, what's your name? Paris. Paris. How old are you? I'm two. Well, how, when's your birthday? Seven. December 18th. How old are you about to turn? Two. You about to be three. <laughs> I'm about to be three. <laughs> <laughs> so right in here, guys, Um, this is just, right now, honestly, storage for my construction workers. This is this is the garage. This is where the... um. God willing, my Yaris and my Aventador will be. This is the next Ooh, two cars coming. The next ones? The next two cars, which will be a Lamborghini Yaris, which will be for my wife, and the Aventador is going to be for me. And we kind of just share all the cars. We have the Hellcat, the Yaris, the GTR, and an Aventador. That's like my, my goal. Dude, going on. Yeah. that'd like, be uh, your wife, kids, pulling up in the Yaris, the Yaris you pulling up in the Lambo, bro. Crazy. Every, every time we go eat, I'm like, babe, you got to take the own car. I'm gonna take, you take the Yaris, I'm going to take the Aventador. <laughs> we got to put up a style, valet it, bro. So that's, you know, that's the ultimate goal. Obviously, next year when we're done building the house, the house does cost a lot of money to build, so once we're done building the crib, the Aventador is coming, baby. I promise. So that's where these is my Aventador, and yours will be sitting, and then my my GTR will be in that with the warehouse. Okay. I barely drive that shit, so. Yeah, dude, you're doing like a mass renovation, yes, re yes. Uh, renovation to the whole entire house, right? Yes, the whole thing, bro. We bought the house, we bought the crib, we moved in it, and started construction right away. Like there was no, bro. We, it's literally the worst thing in the world when you're building a house and trying to live in it. It's depressing. <laughs> it's bro because you're stuck in one room. I'm stuck in one room. I can't got nowhere to go and everything else is under construction You guys will see but right here. We have our backyard Everything's gonna be re um, re renovated refurbished everything bro So we got new floors coming um, our walls are being painted our bathrooms back there We actually have a 10-foot pool bro in Florida is not it's not that <laughs> common. You have a 10-foot pool So this is grandfathered in I'm nice. very excited about this. Um, we do keep the pool nice and clean, but we don't swim in it um, obviously it's winter time here, so we just try to stay out of the pool. We get sick, you know, 75 degrees, 80 degrees is cold for swimming weather here in Florida at least. Funny story about me and Brap, like, uh, I actually had no idea who you were. Yeah. At all. And then, I guess maybe one of my Instagram posts gained traction, or I don't even yeah. know how it worked. And you literally DM me. Yeah, bro, I fuck with what you do, man. Let's dope. Let's, let's collab one day. Yeah. He was like, yeah, bro, we jumped on the Zoom, we talked here and there, and then, um, that was pretty much it. We followed each other on Instagram. We just yeah. kept in touch. That was we actually had like some plans to link up during the summer, yep. but then I snapped my leg and that kind of fell okay, through. My right. whole summer was completely gone. And then I literally just reached back out to him and uh, we hopped on a call and now we're here. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty and, sick, and dude. we got pretty tight over the week. So, it's, you know, it's dope. 100%. You know? I, just love, I just love to have fun. And Lee's, you know, Lee's a dope guy. He loves to learn. We love to have fun, learn, make money. That's all I'm about. Having fun, learning, making money. Life. <laughs> That's literally life, bro. Simple, baby. And, and family, and family. This whole netting right here if you look up it's going to be pushed back over the whole house this is massive bro, yeah, bro this is like crazy. i don't I, I think the camera's doing it justice because i have the wide angle on yeah i i saw the video whenever you bought this house yeah. and you've came such a long way already and there's still so much more to come it's crazy bro, bro already we blew six figures already in the budget oh my just gosh and just what you're about to see guys and we haven't even started the outside we haven't even started the warehouse you know it's it's crazy but it's gonna be well worth it honestly this whole netting is going to be pushed over the whole back of the house. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. And this deck right here we're standing on. Yep. Obviously, we're going to get a new one. It's going to be stretched over along the uh, back of the whole house. All the way down house, to there? All the way to there. Oh, and my we'll gosh. Be able, we'll be able to chill from here. There's going to be sliding doors. Yeah. And top the floor glass windows. No way. Sick, bro. It's gonna That's going to be, gonna be crazy. sick. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. So back out here, we just have a vibe. Whether we're riding a pit bike, it's in the little pit bike track back there. Or we're just chilling, playing soccer, whatever it is. I don't fucking know. And Who knows? You said you have five and a half acres? 5.5 acres, yeah. That's, dude, you got so much land to mess around with. Bro, do whatever can, you want. Bro, I tell them, Lee, we can do anything. We can go paint. We can go shit up on paintball field. We can go, we can shoot guns. We can ride bikes, ride cars back here. Derby, whatever you <laughs> want to do, but we can do it, bro. So That's that so was the goal, yeah. So I, I own, like, in, even in the woods, I own all back there. What's all back around. there? Bro, it's, it's kind of like a swamp, but once you get past the swamp, it's more land. Now... Is there like alligators and stuff? Yeah, I have a pet alligator, guys. No. His name's Ali the alligator. We have him back there. He's back there. Once we get on the pit bikes, I'll go back to see if he'll come up out of the water. But he's chill. He doesn't even come near the house. And I know a bunch of people are like, this guy's a fucking idiot. He's <laughs> he don't know. He's chill. Daddy, once I yes, baby. It's an alligator. Yeah, there's an alligator back there. If he gets big enough, I'll call Fish and Wildlife. They'll come the get him. Alligator's back there. Alligator is back there. One of the neighbors down the block, they um they saw uh, a rattlesnake in the yard. Yeah. But 
that was only one and then there was like there's like black snakes around here but they're good for the environment so okay we don't even bother them but we cool. do have um what are they called? Water snakes? Um, oh, moccasins? Water moccasins. Those are scary, bro. Yeah, we kill those every time we see yeah, them. Yeah, 100%. But I, 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 thank God I haven't seen one, so. Yeah. Okay. Let's step inside. I'm going to show you guys my dining room slash chill area, and then we'll go yeah. inside. Bro, this house is so sick. It's it's abs it's massive in person. Yeah, it's, it really is. Exactly How many square feet? It's like, 3, what? 3,700 altogether? 3,700 square yeah. feet, dude. Oh, nice right. LEDs? Everything's LED. This is like the first full LED house that my construction workers are in. Everything's LED in this house. LEDs are such so key for us filmers. Bro, yes. Even my refrigerator is LED. Dude. <laughs> oh, funny. look at the backlight. <laughs> Fucking insane, bro. You That's it. sick. My refrigerator is LED. It's pretty cool. So, yep. This is the kitchen area, guys. We have our full kitchen getting done now. Um, Like I said, guys, it's only been six months into the renovation, and everything we've done has been in six months. So it's just crazy. Full kitchen, we got cabinets, shelves being put in here. My stove's gonna be here. My sink's gonna be here. I think roughly around this area somewhere. Back here we have our laundry room slash HVAC room. So this one's almost done. We have our dishwasher, oh, I said dishwasher. Washer and dryer, black walls. So so the black, the white, the gray is kind the of the full, theme? That's the full theme of the house. Yeah, okay. black, white, and gray. More like medieval slash barn. Right. That's the whole. That's the whole vibe we we're going for with the house. Now that we kind of left the uh, the kitchen area, now we got to the living room. So these are these stairs are temporary. They won't be here. These are just temporary stairs so we can get to our second floor. Okay. Our so stairs, where are the stairs? Yeah. Where are they gonna go? I'm gonna lay them out for you. So basically, they're gonna be against this wall right here. Yeah. Against this wall, and then the platform is here. It's gonna turn. And then push straight up into the um, balcony. Okay. Yeah, cool. so it's gonna be a full open concept over there. Well, yeah, no, with that tucked up against the wall like that, it's gonna make this so, so open. Much, so much better. And then check this out. This is one of our highlights of our house. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this full color LED light. So it's, it's separated in two pieces. It shoots straight into my temporary office. Dude, like, no way. Crazy, bro. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. Thank you, bro. It adds such a cool aesthetic. Neat how you're doing this because you're kind of going for a barn, but also it keeps it modern whenever yes. you do stuff like this. Yeah. You know, like barn. Like I said, the barn, medieval, modern style. That's what I want. Um, like the blacks, the grays, the darkness. But when you still come in, it feels like homey. So that was so like, much contrast. Yes, it's so sick. Much. Some of the in inventory, guys. Like I said, I own my own clothing line as well. Um, right now we're like we literally have nothing on the website. So this is like everything we have left. All no panic zone stuff right all here? All no panic zone shit. Yeah, yeah. So this is literally, that's all we have. We usually have thousands and thousands of products on the website because every day average, we average almost like 1,200 viewers on the website. Really? Daily. Every single day? Every single day. Minimum. The, the, I think the lowest I've seen it was like 500, 600 people. Wow. And that's like me not promoting it for a week, not doing anything. That's incredible, dude. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. This is more of like an actual brand yes. rather than like just YouTube merchandise, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so that's the best part about it. Like, Because a couple months ago, I quit YouTube to focus on different things. And then um, the brand just kept blowing up, bro. So like that was the best thing. Like it was just no panic zone. It could be no panic zone. Gym gear, no panic zone. Yeah. Um, dirt bikes, no panic zone. You know, trading, whatever. Yeah. It is. Yeah. MPZ trading. It's MPZ sick trading. because you've built something that kind of somehow correlates with everything. Yeah, I mean, it's weird, right? It's so, yeah. It's, it's so. Did weird. you know that when you did it? No, bro, bro. So the story behind of me building this brand, I got locked up for riding dirt bikes. I got locked up. But in the process of me getting locked up, somebody recorded me and I said, yo, no panic zone. The video went viral. I had like 5 million views and shit like that. Really? And then um, I came home before the brand was no panic zone. Like, actually, it's a perfect example. My brand was called Paradigm. Okay. So Paradigm means to be different, be opposite. So that was the whole word. And then when I tried to get Paradigm trademarked, somebody already had it for clothing. Got it. So I said, yo, I need to switch it. We um, and Under Paradigm was no panic zone. So I was like, yo, fuck it. Let me just make no panic zone the full brand. And that's what I did. And so it was 100% meant to be. 100%. It's funny how like you look back now, the video kind of, you know, yep. that went viral, yep. led to this, and now you're here, dude. Now I'm here, fucking, this This is one of the reasons why how I bought my house. So right in here, we're going to have the same floors as out there, but this is going to be our dining room area. So while we're eating, doing Thanksgiving, whatever it is, we'll have a chandelier, like a, like a square chandelier that comes over the table, and all this will be open, so we'll be able to see... The outdoors where the deers are coming by, whatever it is, yeah. we'll be able to see what we're eating. When you extend this, bro, it's going to feel so spacious. Bro, it's going to be crazy, bro. It's gonna be the goal is for my mom to have a tiny home in the back in the okay. next year and a half, two years. And then we're going to have a full-size basketball court right there, right where the side of the warehouse. So you plan on staying here. You don't plan on leaving. The, the only way I'll leave if somebody comes and offers me like five, six million dollars for the house. Yeah. And because I'm in, when, when I'm done the house, I'll be in almost two mil. Yeah. Like 2.2 mil. So once I'm done the house, somebody offers me five million, I'll leave. And then I'll just probably downsize mm -hmm. or buy an estate. That'll be a goal. Like buy like 30 acres, 40 acres. Yep. Or just buy two acres and just have a nice big ass home. Like 7,000 square foot home, some shit like that. Yeah. Like that's like the only two ways I'll go. But for now, I don't plan on leaving. Nobody wants to offer me money. 
I can care less. I don't need it, so I'll stay. Yeah, dude. This like this whole setup here is literally like the dream setup. You got you got the beautiful 3,000 square foot plus house. Then you got the the garage connected to the house for for some cars. Then you got the whole like man cave as a shop, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. So that's why I said that's gonna be my temporary office in, in there because it's gonna be my daughter's playroom. Uh huh. My real office is gonna be in my square my my, my warehouse. I have like roughly around 2,000 to 2,200 square feet. You know, when we build the second floor of the warehouse, it's gonna be more square footage. Yeah, yeah. So let's kind of walk over there, bro. So is this, this is this something that came with the house? Yeah, bro. I bought really? it with the fucking house, which is insane. Like, when, once once I seen the property and the house, I said, oh my god, I love it. I hated every I, I loved everything but the prop. Like I loved everything but the house. Yeah. So when I bought the property, I was like, damn, I, I hate the house, but I love everything about it. Like I, I wanted more of a grand house, wanted a bigger house, wanted something more done. But I couldn't resist the price for the property, bro. I was just like, but fuck that. I'll, I'll put more money into the into the house, but the property is just worth so much money, bro. Right. It's crazy. So come right in here. So this is going to be the spot, this the, is, the this, hangout spot this is, for the boys. Yes, it already kind of is the hangout spot for the boys. Let me open up a door so you can get some more lighting. <laughs> This is my diamond in the rough right now, guys. So we have <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty raw right now. Yo, it's pretty freaking, it's pretty, it's pretty beat up. I feel like you had a lot more dirt bikes than this. What happened? Yeah, Where are they at? Got rid of a lot of shit, bro. Really? Like this, bro, it's just you get tired, you get tired of things. Like everybody always asks me, bro, you have all the land to ride. Like when you have all the land to ride, you get bored of riding, bro. It's like when you have something so much, yeah. just like I, I don't really care about it. Yeah. So that's what it was. So I, I like keeping the smaller bikes. The reason why is because my friends come over, actually enjoy them as well, and then we have more fun on them. Like the bigger bikes. Like, I haven't touched the 450 in forever. Yeah. Like, I, haven't, I don't even ride this shit because I'm not street riding. So, when the friends come over, we ride just the pit bikes or the small little quads and shit like that. So, that's why I like the smaller bikes, bro. Yeah. Like, just keep it minimum. 100%. So, the plans for the warehouse, bro, we're going to be, so this is going to be super crazy. We're going to be doing, put, we're going to be putting two shipping containers in here. Shipping container here and one shipping container there. Like, you're talking like cargo, like metal, bro, like steel, metal. like whatever. Yes. Shipping, shipping container. container. Why, though? Like, because, so how does that even, mean, like, come about? All right, so it saves me money on okay. building structure of wood. Each uh, shipping container is roughly around, like, $4,000 to $5,000. That's really not yeah, that bad. It's not that bad at all, right? And I'm buying four shipping containers, so they give me a deal. So, like, it's, like, even way better. They're going to be, uh, the reason why we're doing them is because with wood building up, so they're going to be two offices and then we're gonna have a a um a uh platform a, a platform well, that's which is gonna be a big office for my, my merchandise uh -huh. so the reason why we're doing that is because it's building structure for the platform with way cheap like it was so much more cheaper so we don't need no more money right no extra wood there's none of that so that kind of saves me in different places and it builds two offices for me you yeah 100 percent. so my trading office is gonna be on the right hand side and the left hand side is gonna be more of the lounge area for the guys if one of my friends come over stay over like lee wants to come visit he'll stay in the um the shipping container TV, <laughs> bathroom, so everything in here, and it's like he's on his, he's his own little space, so it's pretty cool. With all the cars that you have planned to get, right? Are you gonna have like one of those things where it's like you you park it and then it goes up, then you park another one underneath? You know what I'm talking about? It's like a, it's like a, yeah. If it, if it gets to that point where I have multiple cars, like super, like too many collectors, then I'll do it. Like you walk in and like the SVJ is like chilling up there. Yeah. If if it that'd gets be badass. Point. If it gets to a point where I'm having that many cars, I'll do it. But I'm, as of right now, I don't have a plan on putting the little elevator thing, the little right, car lift. Right. I, I don't have no plans. What is it? A unicorn. <laughs> yeah, bro. But that's that's literally summing it up so fast of what we got going on and that's, kind of a house tour, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot we even tell you we're doing an F1 inspired track on the left. No we're way. Car inspired track, which is gonna be crazy. There's a lot of stuff that I'd be missing that we're gonna be doing. So yeah, and there's so much property to go over, bro. It's just I appreciate yeah. you for coming by, bro. Maybe we yeah. can go riding sometime. Yeah, no, let's go riding now, bro. The sun's still out. Let's do kick it. it. Do it. I, I think I'm gonna. We can't change though. We can't give everything in one block. No, 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 100. No. percent We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I just wanted to show you guys the house tour. I it was my first time actually seeing everything here. Feel out the compound and in the daylight because I literally came here the first night when it was dark outside and I've only really seen it in the dark. So seeing this whole setup, bro, during the day with the sun out, it's absolutely beautiful. But he's already, he's already on the pit bike. So I think we're actually about to get uh, suited up. We're gonna go, we're gonna go street ride a little bit. That's his thing. They're gonna show me what's up. I got the sir on here. I've left it at his, in the garage this whole time while I was attending class and stuff, just so I didn't have to bring it back and forth um, in the truck and in the hotel and leave it in the hotel and stuff like that. So he's nice to us to let me store it there. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned. I'm, I know I broke the daily vlog street, guys. Look, it was tough, okay? I already knew it was gonna be tough down in Florida, but uh, you know, we're, we're, we're making a bunch of content. We're killing it. 
Look at him, bro. He's hauling the trash can with a pit bike. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you use code Lee for 50% off your order. Just Ride hats, Just Ride t-shirts are still available on the website. Everything's selling like crazy now that I have this code live. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep it up just because things are selling out. So if you, so if you wanna get your merchandise, use code Lee at checkout for 50% off your order. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. See you in the next one. Peace.